In this video, we're going to learn how to solve problems involving second derivative and third derivative using the calcium calculator in second so multiple choice questions. Now, after going through this video, I guarantee you that you'll be able to solve problems involving higher order derivatives that include second derivative and third derivative for function with the calcium FSCG50 calculator in second so multiple choice questions. So, ensure you stay with me to the very end of this video because we're going to learn a lot, guys. As you can see, we have up to four questions to practice with here, two for third derivative and two for second derivative. We are going to differentiate those that involve trigonometric identity and those that don't involve trigonometric identity. Okay, having known that, let's get the Casio calculator now and go into the details of the video. Alright, so this is Casio FSCD50. Calculator. Now, the very first thing you have to do is to reset or clear this calculator. The essence of doing this is to remove all part of whatever previous value you might have stored on the calculator. Now, to quickly reset it, all you have to do is to go to system using this navigation button. Okay, so once you get a press execute, execute for this calculator stands for equal to. Alright, once you press execute, you then press F5 for reset, then press F6 for next page. When you get a uh, press F2 to initialize or all right, press F1, yes, one to initialize or and it will begin to initialize or to receive the calculator as indicated here. Okay, so we're going to find the derivative of all the functions we have here. Very interesting, guys. You learn a lot. Okay, it's done. Press exit. Okay, now the next thing you have to do will be to ensure that the calculator is in really smooth. Very important, guys. By default, mine is already in reduced really mode. Let me show you if you press is a good one this one matrix now. You will see it is alright, it's in reduced really mode. If you are having to be in degree, all you have to do to put it in reduced really mode will be to press shift this menu button. Okay, navigate down to angle. Alright, as you can see, it's already in reduced really mode. If I press F1 to change to degree, if you are having to be degree, all you have to do to put it to reduce. Really we press F2 and it will change to radius as you can see. That's the press is it. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is to store a number we're going to use to differentiate these functions right here. Now I recommend to often for people I teach because I have practiced with two for a very long time and I've not found any error with it. So to start two on this calculator, all you have to do is to press number first two, then press is a good. Now I want to store it as X. So we're going to press this arrow button, then press alpha, and this plus button. This is for X. Then press the quit. Once you do it, it will indicate that two has been stored as X on this calculator. All right, we are good to go. Let's begin to differentiate these functions from here one by one. So let's delete all here. Press F2. F2 again to delete all. F1. Okay, so this is question one under second derivative. To bring out the value on this calculator, you press F4 for math. Then, when you press F4, you see D2 over the X to that second derivative, you press F5 for it. Alright, so let's impute the function. We have F of L equals this function 2x squared plus 3 to the power 2 over 2. Alright, now note that in mass or in calculus, F of x is as y. You see that you say f of x, so you say y. The roots mean the same thing. Okay, so the question is starting with bracket. Let's start with bracket. We present the question as it is appearing. So we have two x. So we have x press alpha. This plus button by two x square. Okay, plus three. You close the bracket. Ensure that the bracket is balanced, guys. Very important, as you can see. You have two brackets at the left here. I also have two brackets at the Right, so the bracket is balanced. Let's impute the power power in fraction. We have it to be 3 over 2. Okay. Very interesting, guys. Alright, so we are done. Let's go here and impute the 2 restored. Very important. Press is equal to equal to. We have 34.37. Alright, so right now we're going to simplify the options or evaluate the options to get our answer 
That's the item behind differentiation in the castle calculator. You differentiate the question and then you simplify the options or evaluate the, the options. So let's delete everything we have here. Remember, we have 34.37. So you press exit, delete. Okay, so let's begin with option A. It's a fraction. We have 6 in brackets 4x alpha x square. Okay. Plus three, close the brackets. Then over, we have okay square root of two x squared plus three. Now to bring that square root, all you have to do is to press shift this button, x square button. Then we have two, all right, x square alpha x square plus three. Okay, so that's all. You press equal to. At the four point three seven correct. So answer is what option A. Now to check option B if you're going to get similar result, all you have to do is to go up and remove the six we have here like that. Do not give us similar results. Delete the six. We press is equal no. We press S D to change it to this now. No. So our answer is what option A. Feel free to check option C. But I know that the answer is what option A. So it's as simple as that, guys. Now, let's solve question 2. Let's find the second derivative for question 2. Okay, so let's get everything here. Press is it. Delete. Delete or F1. Okay, so for question 2, we have F of S equals 1 over 2x and assign x. This is trigonometric identity function. So you go to math F4, second derivative F5. So in Q the function we have there, we have it to be fraction one over two. Okay, we have x alpha x minus sine s alpha x. That's all the back is balanced. We go here and put it to be stored. That's the way to put. So, nice. so why are we going to simplify the options? Anyone that gives us 0.90 will be your answer. So let's delete our places it. Okay, so for option A, we have it to be cos x alpha s 0 0.90 is what we got. Okay. No? Now let's check option B. So we go to this side, delete this. This cause on plus sign, and that's the uh, confirm. So, answer is what option B. We will check option C. I know that it's going to give a one value. The answer is what option A. Option D is none. It's as simple as that, guys. So, that's for second derivative. How to find second derivative using the calcium calculator. Now, let's go to third derivative. This is interesting, guys. So, let's delete everything here. Okay, so for third derivative. Now, there are steps you have to follow, of which I'm going to show you now. So, question one was the derivative says f of s equal this function. So, let's differentiate it. Let's go to maths. d over dx. We're going to start with d2 over dx2. So, d2 over dx2. All right, so let's take the function. We have the roots, square roots, shift this of x. Okay, then give space to put your plus 5x. Okay, alpha x. Then go here and put the two be stored. We have two. All right, as a put. So we have this value. Let's put this in decimal. All right, so right now we are going to store this value as let's see a on this calculator. All right, now to do that, press. This arrow button first, then alpha a. Okay, then press the quit. Now it, it will indicate that this value has been stored as a on this calculator. Now the next thing we're going to do will be to add a constant here. But before that, let's delete this first line. So it delete this first line. Very important guys for this calculator. Delete line f1, yes. Okay, so let's go up and impute this constant 
to these two we have here plus 0 0.00001 five zeros take note guys five zeros then press the quit okay so we have another 0 0.26 and the rest of them now we're going to store this value as b on this calculator to do that what you have to do is press this arrow button first then press alpha b press the quit it will indicate that it has been stored as b that's all now to get our answer the next step or the last step we're going to follow our uh, response will be to introduce everything here the list of okay this unit fashion battery we are going to subtract a from b to bring that the b press alpha p y minus alpha a over so we have the constant we impute the zero point zero 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 one five zeros take note of this zero guide very, very important the number of zeros so we press the quits we have zero point one nine right now we are going to simplify the option anyone that gives us zero point one nine will be our answer it's as simple as that guys so let's delete everything here Okay, so let me use option A. We have it to be 9 over 8. Okay, we go to this side. X, alpha X. Okay, the power. We have the power to be make it of the power function. Okay, 5 over 2. Sorry. Yes, 5 over 2. Okay. So that's what we have there. Press is equal to change it to decimal to check what that is. You press press the zero one correct. So answer is option A. It's as simple as that, guys. If you want to check option B, all you have to do is to navigate here and remove this nine we have here and put seven. Press is equal Press SD. No. So answer got option A. Okay, let's see check option C. Let's do this guys to verify. But I doubt our answer is what option A. So just invert of option A, option C. Okay, so you remove the put eight here. Where is the quit? No, this should give a one value. So guys, okay, answer is option A. As simple as that. Now let's solve one more example, which is question two for the derivative. Okay. Now let's bring out the classic calculator. Let's do it a bit in here. Okay, so let's go back to math f5 for d2 and dx2. So there we have f of f equals cos s square. So let's impute it. We have cos s square alpha x square okay so the bucket is balanced you go here and put the two restored that's what is good 0.97 so right now we're going to store this as a okay let's store this as a to do that first this arrow button first after a press the quits okay now let's delete the first line. Delete the first line. Is it okay? Yeah. So you go up using this navigation button and add the constant here. We have it to be we have plus zero point zero 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 four five zeros guys. Wow. Okay. So press is equal. Okay. So let's start this as B. It's going to be where is our button? We have alpha b press the quit. Okay, we are going to do lastly for well, this last step. We're going to be let's delete everything here. Okay, so you make it a little fashion button subtract so a from b alpha b minus alpha a. Okay, over we have this constant so point is zero 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 zero. Wow, five zeros guys, take note of this. Okay, so press the quit. 
minus 32.74. So right now we're going to simplify the options. Anyone that gives us minus 32.74 will be our answer. So let's delete everything here. Okay. So let's begin to option A. We have it to be 8 x square s cube sorry okay we have q then come down we have cos x square then we have minus 12 x alpha x sine x square alpha x okay square that's the press is it no, we got minus 32.74. So let's check option B, guys. It's as simple as that. Let's navigate up. Okay. So the difference here is here we have cos, no sign. So we put the cos here. Then here we have sign. Put the sign here. And that's all, guys. Let's press the code and get our results. Confirm. So this is our answer. Another thirty-two point seven four. So it's as simple as that, guys. This is how you can solve. Keep this check option D. You not get similar value, but the answer is what option B. This is how you can solve problems involving second derivative and third derivative with the class FACG fifty calculator in seconds to multiple choice questions. Hope you guys are for this class. If you are new to the channel, sure hit the subscribe button now to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. So like, share, and comment on this video. Tell me how you feel from what you have learned from this class. If you seem to have any specific questions to ask, feel free to leave your question in the comment section below and I'll ensure they give you a response. That's it for this class, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to reset your calculator once you know you have to do is to go to menu. Then we have our system. Press is a good. Okay, reset F5. Then F6. Initialize or F2, F1, and that's what we begin to initialize. Oh, right, guys, let's call the class here. Thanks for watching. See you in my subsequent video. Okay, so it's done. Press exit. Yeah.